we come now to the book of Hosea chapter 6 and Lord God we ask that you would sanctify us by your truth your word is truth in Jesus name amen Hosea 6 verse 1 come let us return to the Lord he has torn us to pieces but he will heal us he has injured us but he will bind up our wounds and now this sounds real good doesn't it sounds like they're really repenting but it wasn't from their heart God knows that look at verse 2 they continue after two days he will revive us on the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence they said we repent now God's punishment will only be for a short time good times are right around the corner verse 3 let us acknowledge the Lord let us press on to acknowledge him as surely as the sun rises he will appear he will come to us like the winter rains like the spring rains that water the earth like refreshing rain comes in the proper season God will restore us that's what Israel is counting on verse 4 what can I do with you Ephraim what can I do with you Judah your love is like the morning mist like the early dew that disappears and so Israel was talking a good talk but we can see from verse 4 that God saw right through it he knew their repentance was shallow verse 5 therefore God says I cut you in pieces with my prophets I killed you with the words of my mouth my judgments flashed like lightning upon you the prophets of course were God's spokesmen the Israelites would not listen to them and as a result the word of the Lord uh, that the prophets spoke would strike the people of Israel like lightning and they are in big trouble and no shell of repentance can reverse it verse 6 for I desire mercy and not sacrifice an acknowledgment of God rather than burnt offerings offering sacrifices without having a heart for God is useless just like today going through rituals without a heart for God is useless I don't care if it's the mass or a service a liturgical service or any other kind of service if all you do is go to church and go through the motions and you don't have a heart for God listen ritual is never a substitute for relationship be kind to others and be loyal to God and then offer your sacrifices then it'll mean something seven like Adam they have broken the covenant they were unfaithful to me there remember Adam Adam ate the forbidden fruit and he did not get away with it and Israel broke their contract with God and they will not get away with it either 8 Gilead is a city of wicked men stained with footprints of blood Gilead was actually east of the Jordan River remember three tribes or two and a half tribes settled east of the Jordan they didn't go into the main portion of the promised land well that entire region of Israel was polluted with sin verse 9 as marauders lie in ambush ambush for a man so do bands of priests they murder on the road to Shechem committing shameful crimes that's pitiful the priests were thugs God helped the nation whose ministers are given over to sin that nation is in big trouble verse 10 I have seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel there Ephraim is given to prostitution and Israel is defiled shameful idolatry that is what is meant by prostitution shameful idolatry was rampant in the northern kingdom this is not repentance all the fine sounding words in the world won't make up for this sort of activity verse 11 also for you Judah remember Judah is the southern kingdom of Israel as, as also for you Judah a harvest is appointed and so the southern kingdom will not get away with their sin either judgment will not be immediate for them 
but it will come. It is appointed, as God says here, it's appointed because they will hold fast to their sin. Next time, chapter 7. Until then, so long, everyone.